You're just gonna get a shot of me just like sitting up. Ooh, brother. It is the night before I'm chatting to Sam Tanner on the podcast. He's a 1500 meter runner from New Zealand, recently just competed at the Olympics. I thought I would just start documenting some of the behind the scenes stuff of the podcast. I was watching a, a Chris Williamson Modern Wisdom uh, podcast. He said that he wishes he documented more of the behind the scenes journey and yeah, it just got me thinking like, why not start documenting some more? So yeah. It's the night before chatting to Sam. Um, I've already done the research and stuff for him. So I listened to a podcast that he was on. Obviously I've been following him for quite a while too. And um, like watched him at the Olympics, check out a whole bunch of Instagram posts. So I prepare some questions. I send five through to the guest just to give them an idea of what we're gonna chat about. And then I'll have a whole bunch more. So. I'm feeling pretty ready. I need to just go over some more of the, the questions just as a bit of a refresher and then set up our Riverside Studio. That's the podcast software that I use. Yeah, and then the episode is at 7 a.m. UK time tomorrow. That is one of the difficult things at the moment is obviously having a job. So it's gotta be before or after work, but then going across time zones as well, it has to somehow work. He's based in New Zealand, I'm based in the UK, so 7 a.m. for me is 6 p.m. for him. So yeah, I'm gonna set up our studio, then probably see you in the morning, I guess. I actually never use this hanger thing. Does it look cool though? So I'm just heading into the office now. It's about quarter past six. Thought I was gonna get some cool videos of me uh, making my scrambled eggs. But uh, we didn't have any eggs or any bread, so I just had my overnight oats and a coffee instead. So we have made it to the office. I need to get all the stuff set up now. Well, to be fair, most of the stuff is already set up. So I mostly just need to get my laptop and all that set up. And then I'll uh, physically write the questions down into a notebook as well. I like to do that for kind of remembering what the questions are, but as a way of just sort of preparing. So yeah, gonna get all set up now. So we're almost done with the setup. I just need to get my notebook and um, yeah, just test the mic really. So I like to make sure obviously it's all tested before I start so it sounds all good. And then um, what I like to do, you'll see, is that on the big monitor, I put up just like, I jump on Canva, just put like a big white rectangle and full screen so it's almost like a light because the lighting in here, it's, it's okay, like it's bright, but a lot of it is down lighting. So just to light my face up a bit more, I'll chuck like a big thing um, on the big monitor here. Annoyingly, I couldn't find a multi-adapter and I can only have two things plugged in here, but um, my laptop's fully charged, but I'll keep this on hand in case I need it. Sam has a dock here where I write down all the questions. I kind of have the main ones at the top that I want to ask. Now I have a few extra down the bottom in case um, I need some extra ones in case we're, you know, running really short. Okay. 
and we're live. Sam, thanks so much for joining me today, bro. We made it happen. And so when I look at him, I go, man, how can I be humble in character and, and you know, show charisma and, and be relational with all my mates and other runners around me, but also have that, like, game on mindset. Right. But your body doesn't want to do the hard option, but you should probably take the hard option because if you go on the inside, everyone's going to pass you or box you in then you have to go to the back out and all the way around and run and you're not and your body tells you yeah yeah you can pass them like that yeah yeah you can do it no yeah. you can't yeah it's so good that sounds so much more fun than running oh, the so much more fun than doing a two hour long run <laughs> yeah yeah 30k in two hours on the, on the road and making sore legs or 30 k's in the, k's in the water just going wow wow yeah. I mean, that's a, I bet you weren't oh. expecting that on the pod, eh? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I thought it was going to be like you guys had a fight or something. Or... Yeah, no, he was like six foot five. Right, back from work now because I unfortunately didn't have any eggs or bread this morning. I had my overnight oats instead, but I'm um, going to make some eggs now. So I still get the meal in and then we're having homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. It's always just a get these scrambled as fast as possible kind of vibe. Induction cooktops make the weirdest noise. I don't know if you can hear this. Very weird. All right, four eggs. Oops, definitely just put a lot on the bench, that's all right. The podcast with Sam today went so well, man. He is such a funny guy. He, there are a lot of funny stories. Uh, one really funny story in particular that really took me by surprise. Um, and then, yeah, just lots of interesting learnings. I just didn't really know much about running 1500 meters. Like the fact that, I think I already mentioned it, but he would run Oh, he runs 100k plus weeks and he's also persevered through tough injuries like Arkley's injuries. He's competed at the Olympics twice. So yeah, it was a really good chat and oh, he's into heaps of stuff outside of running too, which I don't know, adds an interesting dynamic to him. He's into skating, surfboarding, kiteboarding, like heaps of random stuff, building music, I found out. Um, yeah, so it was it was really interesting. Thought I'd just run you through a few of the pretty standard um, audio kind of editing I do, I suppose. As you can see, uh, I skipped out the video editing part. I just put us side by side. Played around with full screening people, but I don't know, I think I'd like the side by side for these virtual ones. Pretty standard audio editing stuff I do. Oh, well, I, I use DaVinci Resolve too, by the way, but go into the audio editing tab and it's mostly just EQing it. Sometimes like I play around with the, the noise restoration one, which is just removing background noise. I, I added it on mine and then actually took it off because sometimes it actually makes it sound worse. But if there is like a bit of white noise or something like that, that you can hear like static in the background, that will remove that. But then yeah, with the EQing, what I do is I just go through the different frequencies, crank it up as loud as I can. And then if you're hearing weird noises like screeching or whatever, that's the frequency that I'll drop down a bit. So um, it's different depending on the microphone or whatever, or maybe even like this example, Sam's not even using a microphone, so produces a different sound. So generally I'm bumping the bad frequencies down. And then sometimes with the lower frequencies, like the more bassy kind of ones, because Sam, say the example like Sam using his laptop mic, it's really like, it's quite a tinny kind of sound, if that's the word. So I kind of bump up the lower frequency so it gives it a bit more kind of depth to his voice. And then the next thing I do once I've kind of ironed that out is I have like a Word document for everyone. So these are most of my questions that I wrote down, but I don't need that anymore. So I'll go titles, so I'll generate some titles and then what I'll do here is put in thumbnails and actually not that I do them often but 
if I remember, I'll get some quotes too. Not thumbnail, sorry, I meant um, timestamps. So first one's always the intro, and then from there I just, whenever we start talking about something new, like generally it's me asking a question or asking the guest a question, that's kind of like a new timestamp, and what that looks like in practice, I'll go to a different one. Let's say, let's jump into Ghetto's podcast. What I do if I zoom out, there's a clips, but from a zoomed out perspective, you can see how these different colors are different timestamps. Looks quite messy at the moment because I've gotten heaps of clips out of it, but the different color constitutes different timestamps. And then all of these little markers are different clip markers. So when I'm listening back to it, if there's a good part or there's a funny part or whatever, I drop down a clip marker. So I have red ones for a good clip, two red ones is a really good clip. <laughs> And then yellow ones are funny ones, uh, purple ones are for me. So if there's a clip where it's kind of just me and I think I've said something good, <laughs> um, then I'll mark those as purple, but as you can see, there aren't many of those ones. But yeah, that's the general, general workflow. I can't tell if my hair looks stupid or not, but well, that's right. Um, thanks heaps for checking out vlog number one. The episode with Sam is now up. When I finish editing, I just do like um, the thumbnail, title, all that. That stuff is actually surprisingly difficult. But um, yeah, episode with Sam is now up. Thanks heaps for checking out this first episode. If there's anything that I touched on in uh, this one that you wanted to know more about, let me know. Comment down below or message me or whatever. But um, yeah, this is something I want to make a semi-regular thing. I'm thinking about maybe including some some running and some training and some slightly less podcast-related stuff, but just a way of documenting the journey, really. So yeah, thanks heaps. Hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't too boring, but got to start somewhere. So yeah, see you in the next one.